Well, there's Doreen in front of her beautiful house. And there goes the Princess Sadie Cakes. She's still got enough life in her that she can run around the house. But she has definitely slowed down. Look at her. <laughs> she could still she could still make a run for it. Look at her. Oh, there's a good little Sadie boo. So here we are at Lake Como. And there's the Katie Boo. And there's Doreen. Hey. <laughs> and this is just beautiful out here. Oh, look, I'm just going to get a little bit of this lake because this Lake Como. Oh, boy. Katie got across the river. A beautiful natural waterfall and little river. Wow. I think I might leave her leash on just because I'm paranoid that she would, I'd have to go in and catch her. <laughs> yeah, catch her. In there, I bet. Oh, she's so funny. But she's so tired from that walk, that little hike. How long was she hiking? For about an hour at least. Oh, we were gone for about three hours. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at her, she's dead now. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Wow. I'll just have to get this front entrance. I mean, yeah, wow. Yes, it's very kind and of each, almost southern plantation looking. And each season is so different and, and so beautiful. And look at the just the natural shade that all these mature trees. These have got to be 200-year-old trees have, at least. Yeah, they are. And, you know, we finally had... Um, these grounds are a designated arbor, like a, a arboretum, a, like... Yeah. You know, with the... You can't cut them before you get permission, a type yeah. of thing. Yeah. And, uh, so this is a big maple tree, it says. Yeah. On the tag. Now, there was an original house, and then they added on to the original house, and so parts of the house are the original, and parts of it are where they, mm -hmm. you know, added on some and everything. And look at this grand um, back, back uh, entrance. Yeah. Aren't they cute? They're little, like teenagers? No, of? that's a mom and her baby. A mom and her baby? Yeah, the, the moms are <gasps> tiny. And the baby has a spot still. The baby has, oh, did the spots grow off? Yeah, they do, yeah. Oh, look at the mama. Oh, she's, she's Can you imagine good. that one mom having triplets? Well, I didn't know they had more than one. Well, I, I guess they, they have, have litters, huh? Yeah, well, no, they don't. Most of the time they just have one, but once in a while they'll have mm -hmm. twins. But triplets usually don't survive because there's usually a runt. But those that we saw have survived. <gasps> she goes Gosh, crazy stop. over the turkeys, oh, though, especially uh, with the little chicks. Oh. There was 26 little chicks oh with two God. hens. <gasps> and she was going crazy ah, trying to get to she them. She hops on her hind legs and she... The deer, she kind of ignores the deer now. But, but those, those turkeys? turkeys? Oh, man. What a crack up. Yeah, so... So Larry and Carol on this Hi. beautiful property. <laughs> it's really... It's paradise. And I'm oh, not just you. saying that. Because <laughs> they go in the potty. Oh, my God. Did people really do that? They would sit side by side and go poo? And all hands. What in the world were they thinking? That's funny. Oh, that's too much. There's some things, even when you're in love, you don't want to do together. You know? Those little outhouses always remind me of Lizzie Borden. Because remember, she buried the hatchet in the, right. <laughs> in the pool. That's so clever. That's funny. And even the color is still in the wood. I mean, they obviously yeah. uh, pr uh, protected it with some type of a uh, stain or paint. And uh, so they probably take this down to the creek and get water, fill it up, and bring it back up to the ranch. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe they use it for firefighting too, you know? I, I am holding on with the left hand. And what? And this is the, uh, the red... Uh, uh, a Cadillac. What did you call it? <laughs> My red limo. I'm in limo. <laughs> oh, how fun. <laughs> now, I've never been on this either. Oh, I thought this? you had been. I've never been on You've this. You've been in the green machine? Nope. Oh. oh this. You know what Judy's favorite thing to watch? She's been in all of them. She likes the Lancruiser Jeep. Oh. That's what she prefers. Oh, yeah. 
and you have this all irrigated with this uh, yeah. above ground irrigation. How clever. And they, they, that's part of their water rights. They have irrigation from the, um, the streams, I guess. Or oh, I was going to say, is it a well? How do you get water? No, it's, it comes from Lake, Lake Como. Actually, uh, there's a tin cup lake up here, so I don't want you to get wet. So I'm timing these. Look at this. <laughs> and Katie's just sitting there like a good little girl. I knew she was. Once I put her oh. leash on. <laughs> oh, I've done it a few times. Yeah. Look at That's that a place. shocker to get that whole lot of Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And this is all yours. The cows out there. Yeah. Oh, on this side of the fence is all yours. Right. Did you put those no, fences up? Because those are yeah, actually, yeah, this good looking cars. Sturdy. Maybe I went half on those fences. Look at this. The ghost is white. Oh, This guy here, this African lion, did he come from Africa? Yeah. Look at his face. And see, I've got him mounted. <gasps> with a hyena? With a hyena, because oh. they're mortal enemies. Because oh. the, the, this versus this, the lion would win, right? Every time. But hyenas will kill a female lion and eat it, but they're terrified of a male lion. As, as that oh. picture above you, that's just what they do. They'll take on a whole clan of hyenas and kill every one of them. Wow. But a female will run away from them. Oh, wow. Well, now the job of the male lion is just to protect the, the To protect tribe. the pride. Otherwise, right. the female lion does all the work. Right there. That's what the female lion does. She's the hunter. She does virtually all the work, but he yep. protects He protects the pride, right? Right. And now they'll kill a, they'll kill a zebra, won't they? Oh, yeah. That's what she's doing right here. Look. You see how... How she, her claws went in and, and sc sc scratched her and then dug in. And if you notice, the zebra's hooves are not touching anywhere. She's holding them up. And, but how are you doing this? As uh, How is that happening? That seems... Uh, my, my taxidermist is, a, is also a wildlife artist, so I'll go to him and I'll tell him how I want it mounted, and he'll sketch it out. And then I'll make changes, and then once I like the way it is, I'll say, okay, that's how I want it. This is amazing. See, this this really is a museum. I, I keep saying that word, but it really it is. is. No, it is. Uh, now, this is a muskox from the Arctic Circle. Oh, it's an ox. Muskox. Muskox. I thought it was a but buffalo. But wait till you go there and, and feel that hair. I mean, they make yarn out of this one. It's thick? Look, look, oh, right here. look how minute. thick it is. Look how wait deep it goes. You could make a like a coat out of... Well, you could, yeah. well, that's, that's insulation there. Yeah, this is a Rocky Mountain goat. Oh. Yeah, this was British Columbia. <gasps> they have them here in Montana. Can I pet it? Yes, absolutely. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's a, what, what, pet, pet there you go. This is the grass, it's like goes crazy. <gasps> We've had a lot of rain. Oh, since oh the and then it's, but, uh, but look how lush it is. It's, yeah, and I just cut it. I just cut it. I need to cut it again today. We spend in all in, in, in the summertime, we spend most of our time mowing. But I mow everything, wow. everything that's green the out there, uh -huh. that's all mowed. And down the hillside, around yeah. the hillside. Oh. The only thing we don't grow, we don't think we don't mow is yeah. this section oh, wow. out here. Um, that's long oh, because that's where the deer have their fawns. Yeah, oh, they give birth so, out there? Smells. Yeah, in she's fact, we had company. the deer and the turkeys yeah. out here. In fact, we had company, like in June, and we looked out the window, and one had just been born out there because it was just trying to get up, and it was like real wobbly, and then the mom would walk a little bit, and it would just fall down and walk, and she finally got it over into the trees over there. It, it, she had just had it, so. Well, we saw some deer as we drove up the hill. Oh, yeah, they the live here. Breakfast. And it necessarily won't be always cold, but if you're going to get minus 40, you're going to get it down there. You're not going to get it up here because we're we're in this little valley that, and we get our weather from Seattle. We don't get it from Canada. Oh, See, it blows from got, west to east. If, yes, and we get it, and the the Canadian winds flow down on the east side of the Rockies. We're on the west side of the Rockies. 